Hey guys, I have a new kind of haul today. This is a AliExpress Ally haul. Um, my daughter got me into AliExpress and the Wish app. I started noticing all these little packages coming in the mail and she was getting all these cute little things and she was telling me how cheap they were and every day she was like Christmas. She had so many fun little packages. So I decided to get on it and see if they had any crafting or coloring or anything that I could use in my art and my coloring books or whatever. So I found some really, really good deals and I think the highest thing that I paid for here was like two ninety five or something like that. And I only did stuff that had free shipping. Some things are like three cents, two cents. It's it's crazy. I don't know how they do it. So let me put this to the side. All I did was slice things open. I haven't really checked them out. There's a couple of things that I did open. But um, for the most part, we're going to see, the, see these together. <clears throat> this is one of the things that um, I did open because it kind of fell out. So this is, I think this was like 20-something cents. And it comes in this cute little box. And, um, let me pop it open. And it's these really, really pretty paper clips. I don't know if you can see them. Let me see. The lighting's kind of bad. But it's got all of these little, um, little, for, uh, little stars in them. And, um, they look really cute, like in your planner. I just thought that they were adorable. Hanging out your book or something like that. They're so cute. So yeah, these were really, really cheap. Alright, that's one. Let's see. I don't know what this is. Um, I think these are stickers. I like the cute little box. Yeah, these are stickers. Oh, and they're really pretty. They're all like... Asian inspired beautiful koi fish I just thought that um, these would be really pretty in my journal you get a bunch of them and they were like two and three cents for the whole box I'm not kidding all right let me put this to the side <clears throat> and there's more in here too All right. Oh, these are um um rub-ons. I was gonna put in my Jane Davenport. I'm I'm doing like a mermaid book. They're calling them tattoos, but actually I had another packet of them. They're rub-ons. I think I paid two cents for this. It did come a little crinkled, but I mean, it's all the way from Japan in a little envelope. I think it's pretty good for, you know, two cents. Uh, what is this? Trash oh, my stamps. I got um, so many different kinds of stamps, and most of them are under a dollar. Uh, I put this here so we could see. Um, no, I don't like the lines. See if we can see what this looks like. A lot of vintagey stuff that I got. Ah, stuck to me. I'm trying to put it on the background so you can kind of see what it is. Get my camera back. Vintage lady. Kind of looks like a um a sewing pattern. Really nice. Good size for um, my little journals and here's the next one definitely like a pattern type book with the lady and the man oh you know what this is these are footprints this is like a dance um, pattern I think I don't know it's cool for a journal very cool 
This one, I wasn't quite sure about because I didn't realize uh, it's a circus one. See the guy with the barbells and the, you see the clock back here. But I didn't realize at first that these were clowns and I really hate clowns. <laughs> but um, still very cool for under a dollar. All right, let's see what else we got. I got a lot of stuff, and this is just half of what I ordered. So I'll have to do another haul later on. Uh, some more stamps, and these are even bigger. Um, I really am into circle, um, circles and spirals and all of that kind of fun stuff. This one is really pretty, and it's got words in it. And it's um, take these broken wings. I'm serious. That's what it's saying on here. You can't really tell, but it, it's got the uh, song lyrics in it. No idea why. And then this one is um, wood grain. It's supposed to be chopped logs. But I love, love, love how... Um, let me see it better this way. Eh, no. I love how um, it's just all circles to me. I thought that would make a really good art journal background. Yeah, these are really, let me see. And they don't have a horrible smell to them because I don't do well with smells with my asthma. So I'm going to try all of these out later. What it looks like. Very neat. I'll do a video on how work how well they work. Oh yeah. These um, I was really excited about the, the very, very vintage looking ones. Let's see if I can get this open. I love it. And this is the other one. And they're nice and big. No shipping. I think these are like a dollar thirty, I wanna say, from the store I got them from. Great deal. Um this was a great purchase. This is another one that I did open because I was like, what did I buy that was this shape, you know? But it came really, really nicely packaged. Um, they protected it really well. This nice soft foam, all the tape. So I just opened it from here. And it is three brushes that I ordered. Um, I can't read it, of course. But they're small, medium, and large water brushes that I paid, I want to say, 70-something cents each. Um, my only issue with this is they all look the same size. I can't tell which one is small, medium, and large. But I guess it really, really doesn't matter. They're beautiful. And um, I'm going to keep this paper for my journal as well. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. Here we go. They're big. I mean, they are gorgeous. I see you've got the little string on the bottom. You can hang them up. Beautiful brushes. Ooh, get on camera, that would help. And then you open this up, and you put the water in here. And then you got your water brush. Oh, it looks like it's going to be gorgeous. So I got three of those. Another stamp set. This one is an art stamp set. This says, you seem to have a feeling for drawing. Um, and then we got some art um, paint. We got a paint set, watercolor. Got some watercolor splotches. And some pens, not pens, um, brushes. What does that say? That looks backwards. 
the art of color I'm not sure oh these are books yeah these are books but isn't that nice again a dollar something free shipping let me see what size because I know someone's going to ask me what size these bigger ones are these are um, like four and a half by six and a half the bigger ones and the smaller ones because these are pretty much the sizes that you're going to find uh, on the website the smaller ones are like three by four the smaller ones are three by four which is still a good size and they're these are heavy duty the little small ones okay what is next I got a lot of stamps y'all oh yeah okay here's another small one it's um, all numbers but great for background and this one reminded me of a Tim Holtz kind of but um, I love this kind of stuff for art journaling the numbers and all these are great for backgrounds All right, let's see. I know I got a couple of stencils. Is this stencil? Maybe a stencil. Oh, no, it's another stamp. <clears throat> One of my circles for background. I like that. That's awesome. I'm telling you, if you go on this side, you're going to get addicted. This is another thing that I opened. Um, this is my one fail so far uh, I opened it because uh, it was bent up and I wanted to check it out so then I said let me go and play with it um, the little it's too flimsy you see like the little tiny detail pieces you can't like do a um, what you call it um, you can't use like a dauber on these or do a circle like that. You could daub, but it still it, it didn't work right with the little details. So I tried spraying it. The spray worked somewhat. I got the detail of the, the girl, but um, it just kind of ran. So this isn't the best stencil. I may keep it just for the flowers, but this part just didn't work it's just way too flimsy um, good thing I only paid like six cents or something like that for this so that was my that's a fail <clears throat> oh yeah I bought this set just for these two things this I love that with the little mask and then the Florida Lee because I'm from New Orleans and I collect all Florida Lee stuff. Um, the top hat I may use. I may use this. I don't think I'll use this. This says steampunk and a sword. May or may not use that, but um, I'll definitely use these really cool odd ones. Let's see. Oh. Um, I think this was 33 cents and you got this entire pad you think there's different ones you could pick from but I picked the unicorn because I love unicorns um, they're all sticky notes and you got your little you know little tiny magazine I call them magazine notes because that's what I'm using them for um, this one I thought I would bring to work put on my desk but it's too freaking cute so I'm gonna leave it here at the house um, and something like this I think I would definitely use this cardboard or something in like a junk journal when I'm finished with it oh it's like a stand you could put it up I didn't notice that before you get cute. oh that's cute okay yeah I would definitely create something with this background for sure all right, let's put that aside. Uh, let's see what this is. Another stamp. I got um, this set. 
specifically for this. Absolutely love it. I think that would be great. Um, alternative to um, a lot of flower stamps sometimes when I want something different on the background. I love that. All right. I think this is one of my stencils. This stencil was, um, I had to get this when I saw Crystal from Art It Out. She had this one. I don't know if you can see it. Let's do it this way. Yeah. She had this one on one of her journals. And she said where she got it. Or maybe she was doing a haul or something. I can't remember. But, um, oh my God. I was like, I have to have that. Y'all know I'm obsessed with faces. Um, very, very cheap. Came really quick. All of this stuff came really quick. Within like two to three weeks, I got everything. Except for my second order. That's what I'm still waiting on. But the had them in two weeks. And this is the other one. I'm not sure if she had this one or not, but I did see it on the same um, store. I, I won't ever use that. I'll probably use this, but this is what I really wanted it for. And now that I've seen how the other one does, I'm worried that this one's going to be kind of flimsy too. So I think this is just going to be like a spray only kind of one. I don't think I would put any texture paste or anything on it like that. But this one is gorgeous. I've seen it in art journals. Um, like I said, Crystal has a really beautiful page with this stencil, so very cheap. All right, here's the biggest one. Let's see. I think this one has the one. Nope. I was looking for one that I paid more money for. I can't remember which one it was now. All right. This is the Russian nesting dolls. I bought these because I collect them and I have a ton of them. My neighbor goes to Russia every year and brings us some, and I wanted to make a page um, showing that. Some more vintage um, pictures, getting camera listening. I love the ladies. What is that? This, oh, this is like a stamp set. Um... Oh, it's all like newsprint things. Really cool. This, all of these came from the same store. This one, I think this is the one I paid the most for. I think this one was it. I love this. The bird. All the little small, what is this? Let me see. I don't know, it's some kind of pipes and like a wrench or something. Um, this says passport, this says this way, this looks like a collar of some sort, and this is like a metallic steampunk outfit, I'm not sure what it is, but it's awesome, alright, <clears throat> another one of those mannequin type things, um, feathers, this is an airplane, invitation uh, this says I'm not weird I'm limited edition um, this is in French so I have no idea what any of this says but it is a very cool stamp set see stuff like this I will actually leave it just like this um, ink it up and put the whole thing right on my page just like this I'll rarely take them off individually and stamp them. I just use the whole thing. Sometimes. This one is my Leonardo da Vinci. I'm obsessed with him as well. I have some art that I've done with him in it. Leonardo stamp. It's hard to see on this one. And that's his face. And another Florida Lee we got going here. It says Italy. But I love this. Great stamp set. Another one, really, really nice. I love the vintage old ones, y'all. I'm obsessed. In the background, it's like Paris, New York, London, so all kinds of stuff. Oh, let's see. What is this one? Oh, this is like the Opera House. 
this is the opera house. You can't really tell that much. And this is some newspaper articles of the time period. And well, two more left. It's going to be hard to get out. All right. Oh, yeah, my coffee one. Isn't that cool? I drink these all the time. Um, life happens, coffee helps. Happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. My friend is not getting my coffee. Just kidding. Though. This was um under a dollar. I know it was like 90 something cents. Last but not least, what is this one? There's like more stamps. Yep, last two. These are big. These seem bigger than the other one. I got this one because I like it for a background. The broken glass looking um, background. And then these cool houses. Um, I just like those for um, my journaling pages or whatever when I'm sketching I could color them in and all um, I have to find the prices on these but I know I didn't pay a lot of money I have to tell you that with all of this stuff my first order everything here I think all together I paid like I want to say it was in the range of $27, $27, I'm going to say. And I got all of this. Well, and this. That's everything, I think. So, here's my haul. I'm excited. I'm going to go and test out these stamps and play with them. And um, I might do a video. I might not. Maybe I'll live stream it. I don't know. But this video is getting very long. But I'm obsessed now with AliExpress. Who I'm going to have to kill my daughter. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's got stuff coming in every day. And now I've got stuff coming in. And it's just so fun. And it's so cheap. Guys, go check it out. I don't have any affiliation with them. They don't send me nothing. I bought all of this stuff myself. I like it um, so far. I had I did wish one time and I got burnt, so I never really I took that app off my phone. That's why I was kind of leery about Ally Express. But then when my daughter started getting all of this stuff, I was like, oh wow, let me try it. And this is all the craft stuff that I have found so far. I got a bunch of more stickies and things coming for um I work in the medical field, so I got a bunch of things for me and my friends at work. And I got some Halloween stuff. So because, you know, it takes time. I'm going to make sure I get stuff early. Uh, so, yeah, go check it out. I'll try to post some links if I can at the bottom, if I can remember where I got this stuff. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know and put them down at the bottom. If you haven't hit that like and sub, please do. It helps me out. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.